Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Wrong and welcome to Call of Duty Mobile. Now today I'm going to show you the game loop settings, so that is for the emulator that I use to play this on my PC. Uh, if you can't see my mouse and keyboard, I am playing this on my PC. So let's actually go into some of these settings now, shall we? So up here you have your toolbar and we're going to want to click key mapping. Now I'm going to show you kind of my settings that you can just copy and paste and I'll also actually explain a little bit of what's going on just so that you can kind of problem solve for yourself if you run into any of your own issues. Now over here on the right you have your two main things, either for keyboard or for controller. This one here is controller and we're going to go for keyboard. So this is what I use and here we are. So each of these little markers here, yours should hopefully look like this. I have set this up to represent the default settings. So as soon as you install the game, you should hopefully it already look, looks like this. But if you've noticed that some things are wrong and not working, check whether or not these are the same. Uh, and that should then be fine for you. But let's kind of briefly talk about what you're actually looking at here. So of course, COD Mobile is a game for your phone, and so wherever you touch on the screen to certain things is pushing certain buttons. Now, the emulator is going to be, of course, pretending to be that phone, and so it still needs to know where all of your buttons are, which is kind of what you're looking at here. This is the way that your emulator understands where all of your buttons are. So if in the actual game here, you went and changed some of the positions of where your buttons are on your screen, which you can do, um, that will then mean you'll need to also go into your game loop settings and actually adjust them here as well. That is an issue I've seen a few people run into where they've changed it within game and then they didn't update it and kind of uh, coordinate it or yeah, kind of also change it within game loop because the game loop needs to know of the changes that you made. That's quite an important element just there. Now you might ask why would anyone want to change some of those buttons in screen and it is because it can then kind of, yeah, it can kind of clear your heads up display and so that's maybe why you wanted to change some of the buttons. Yeah, so a really common issue that I've seen is people who used to play on their phone and then when they transfer their account onto game loop, uh, there's been a few issues with their controls not working and you may want to come here and just press default and change them to default for the emulator to kind of pick them up because if you did change any button layouts uh, they may not work as you can see here these are the default settings and so that's a common reason I've seen for people's buttons not working now of course you do actually have more settings over here under your tool set so that's your key mapping activating full screen whether or not you need to rotate these are just basic things that your emulator can do uh, you can even do video recording through it take screenshots you'll probably never need to you uh, you'll probably never you need to use your virtual location stuff and likewise shake but if you actually do want to see your FPS you can click that to see it up there so hey that's something if you're interested um, and lastly, I know this is actually an in-game setting, but you want to make sure that you're using advanced mode and hipfire. That's kind of the usual setup mechanics because COD Mobile does have some weird shooting mechanics like, for example, auto-firing, which isn't something most people are used to. Hey, if you have found your, your way that you like it, you can stick to that. But usually I would say most people are actually used to this setup here. So just bear that in mind. Uh, another thing to make sure that you do have selected is these two boxes here. Um, so these kind of switch modes, so depending on certain key mappings and bindings that you have, you just want to make sure that both of those are selected, and brightness can be whatever you choose it to be. I also have all of these selected as well. So there you are. And if you are still having any issues, feel free to check the comment section and maybe leave a comment with your issue and see if anyone can help you out. I'll also try my best to reply to the comments that I can, and... I hope that helps. All right, have a good one. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna talk to girls. I like guys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>